Indeed, sir, virtual reality is taking over the world right now and Microsoft has recently unveiled their version of a virtual reality headset this past week that has gotten a lot of people talking. Now, here's a sneak peek behind what they're calling the HoloLens. A brand new, just launched augmented reality device called the HoloLens aims to bring high definition holograms to life, blending the digital world with the real world. This is the world with holograms, allowing the user to interact with the digital space in a physical environment through a pair of goggles. So what are the applications? At work, you could take a digital design and visualize it physically, adapting the design through hand gestures. When communicating, it's all about hands-free, face-to-face interaction while on the move. The device maps the room you're in, blending holograms with the environment around you so that your room becomes the canvas for your holographic projects and games. There are also opportunities for new ways to teach and learn. In need of a handyman? Well, in today's world, there's no need for a physical call-out. The device doesn't require a screen to touch or a mouse to click. Instead, you use gestures to create, shape and size the holograms. You can use your eyes to navigate and explore and your voice to communicate with your apps. With fears of increased isolation in our daily lives as we immerse ourselves in technology, will augmented reality become the norm and take the world by storm? Only time will tell. Indeed, only time will tell. Now, with us in studio to discuss this new headset is 3D digital holography expert and founder of Third Eye Media, Michael Sachs. Michael, thanks so much for coming in so early this morning to talk about this very exciting technology. It's good to be here. So, the experts out there, or the developers rather, are calling it uh, holographic, but, you know, as, as the definition of hol uh, holographic goes, or holography goes, does it fit in with that, and how exactly does this technology work? It's definitely holograms. Yeah? Any 3D model that's placed in a virtual environment and is, you know, capable of being seen with the eye is a, is a hologram. Yeah. And, um, you know, the way it works is the penile gland actually receives all the light that's, you know, coming through the eyes. Mm -hmm. And that creates our illusion of reality. And the HoloLens kind of tricks you to see these 3D modules in real space, in real time. Yeah. Yeah, that's and what about, what about the application of, of this device in other spheres? I mean, you as a digital uh, marketer, I'm sure have, you've got a very broad view on that. Well, there's multiple industries that you could use this for, medical, police, uh, military, as well as creative. Yeah. For instance, I can give you an example. If you're in creative, you can design 3D models by voice commanding a Photoshop interface, for mm -hmm. instance, like soccer ball, and then create the soccer ball size and change the shape of it and then send it to a 3D printer, for instance. Wow. Which, you know, a couple of hours later, you could actually have the product there on your table, prototype it and continue to mold it. Yes. And work with it online, so now you and I could collaborate from across the world on a product. Okay. We could virtually cut down a lot of time and the creativity is really endless. Very true. When I, when I look at this, I think of the movie that Sylvester Stallone was in, Demolition Man. Because there's this whole movement towards experiential technology, something that kind of takes a reality and puts it into your mind, though it's not really there. Is, is this the future that we're moving to and what do you think is next? Well, it is definitely where big companies are going. If you look at Facebook and even Firefox and now Microsoft 10 with their HoloLens this mm -hmm. product, they're all gearing in that direction because why the access to information now with technology today is just so much more abundant and yeah. robust that what was before possible isn't and the virtual world can overlay anything really wow. in a in a real environment is this something that should scare people out there because uh, you know some people would say it's creating a bigger divide between human beings because the interaction of speaking to each other doesn't exist anymore because now we're all about skype yeah. and just over interface well for some people the the type of person that's naturally inclined to abuse television and crisps, you know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't suggest that they put on a hollow lens and start playing video games because yeah. they could get lost. Mm -hmm. But uh, with, with, with regards to using it to advance your, your workflow, I think that's really where the key applications are going to be, otherwise yeah. just for gaming. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't believe that the head console lasts so many hours for somebody to become totally you know <laughs> isolated with the real world i'm sure somebody will invent a solar powered battery for yes it. yeah yeah electric wave battery power pack. there we go yeah. but thank you very much michael really appreciate your expertise well, in this regard well here. a very exciting future but if you're one of those people that prefers uh, you know rather than traveling from your couch with some hollow lens rather actually doing it here's some very exciting destinations for you on how you can travel as a south african to countries without a visa